Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Uh, let me just log in here and uh, get situated. Wait for the uh, notification to go out. All right. Turn the volume down. All right, cool. So we should be good. Uh, it's going to take uh, probably a second for it to go out. I just, uh, yep. There we go. Okay. It's up and ready to go. So let me go ahead and get the iPad up. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Gabe. What's up, guys? You good? We're all good? Sounds good? Uh, my hands are a little blue. You probably can't tell. It's painting, so there's a little bit of blue. But I washed them. They should be fine. Oh, and there's my hand down there. So, yeah. So I'll, this is going to be a little bit of a coral cutting Q&A kind of thing. What's up, dude? Um, so if you, have, if you have any questions, you can put them down. They'll come up over here on this chat. I'll answer them the best of my ability. And uh, so my plan is we're going to be taking some frags, and we're going to be putting them on disc here. Uh, these are my usual discs that I use in my grow out for colonies. Uh, they're acro disc, and um, yeah, so basically we'll put the plug in there and uh, we'll grow it out in one of our low boys. But yeah, so I, I really want to put some music on in the background, but uh, yeah, that's not happening because last time I did that, I got super flagged. Let me fix the camera angle here. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing that again. So, but anyway, uh, so the plan is probably to do, I don't know, there's. Probably 40 of these little plugs here or these discs and I don't think I'm gonna do them all probably try to do like 20 or so and then just answer questions as we go uh, hopefully you guys got the uh, you guys got the notification for the live stream on Thursday because uh, that's when I'm gonna start doing that normal live stream Q&A which will be on the computer um, it'll be Thursdays now instead of Fridays weekends are pretty busy uh, so the last thing I want to do is sit around and, and entertain you guys on a Friday night so uh, did I end up cleaning the glass? Yeah, I actually did that today. Um, there's a little bit, a little bit left to do, um, and there's one part that I can't even clean because of that green uh, staghorn. The um, what the hell is it? The green slimer is growing into the glass, so I got to figure out how I'm going to clean that. Uh, let's see what we got here. What's up, guys? What's up, DC Reefer? Yeah, and I didn't give you guys much of a notification before I went live. It's just kind of a spur of the moment, last thing. Um, figure to do that uh, where do you where do you get those discs um I, do i sell them on my website i don't know if i sell these on my website um i can sell them on my website if you guys really want them but if you want these discs you can contact me i can get them for you um hey man tips on how to maintain a reef tank when it's fallow uh dose nitrates and phosphates let me grab some coral and uh, we'll get started Here, what do I want to grow? All right, so yeah, you want to dose nitrates and phosphates if you can. Um, that way, you can keep the nutrient levels up. Because that's really what's going to be your issue when you start going fallow. Is you're just not going to have the nutrients. Um, I got to put my goggles on real quick before I mess with the zoa. Get fucked up. Because that's what I need to get slammed with uh, palytoxin while I'm trying to. Cut this, so I'm just gonna cut the plug off. This is uh, uh what the hell is this? Oh, uh, shit! I don't know. It's the expensive one. I don't remember the name of it. And all I'm gonna do is just flip one of these upside down. Actually, you know something? I have these plates too. Maybe if I'll, maybe I'll use one of these. Not this one. I just grow the zoas on this instead these damn goggles out of here um, let me see here let me see what questions we got going on gee I just ordered a new light um, and I got a new camera coming hopefully soon um, for the live streams so I can have a little bit easier time doing that let's see what we got uh, refugium lights 24-7 or opposite of the main display. Op opposite of the main display. You need to give your you need to give your uh, macroalgae time to take a break. So, uh, yeah, my my shit's still broken thanks to Axel. So uh, yeah, um, yeah, I usually run the refugium lights opposite of the main display. All right, so we got some uh, panopy bird's nest here. Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty basic, but I felt like uh, I needed to regrow it 
because I don't have any in the main display tank, and you guys know that I took this system down and uh, turned it into the imported tank, so I figured it'd be good to put this stuff back out there. Let's see what we got. Uh, thanks for the live stream. Needed uh, something to check out while working, curing some dry rock for the new build I have coming up this summer. Hope all is well on your end. Everything, you know, you know life is pretty decent for me. Uh, you know, it's 2020. <laughs> We can, we can chop it up to that. So apparently they're going to be doing some more lockdown shit this week. And I'm like, I don't know who the hell you're locking down, but um, I got a life, man. Um, so I was going to say something slightly inappropriate there, but no need to do that this early in the live stream. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for this shit to be back in stock so I can uh, get rid of the damn spray nozzle. And yes, I know that you can rebuy these and I don't feel like it. Okay, so there's two... See what else we got here. Welcome everybody to the stream. Uh, if you just can't hear, hit the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Hey, how long did it take you to dial in your CO2 uh, for your calcium reactor? Um, I don't know, like a day or two. It, it's not that difficult. I have a video on it. I'm gonna check it out. I also use the uh, the, C, the uh, carbon doser, which is a little bit easier for um, taking care of that. But then again, you do get what you pay for. Let's see what we got here. Hey, man, uh, wondering if you th what your thoughts on uh, if I should dose uh, dose stability regularly on a nano. Uh, I don't know what that is. Dose stability. Was that a, what? What product is that, Alex? Is that like a bacteria, or is that like a combination of uh, you know nitrates, phosphates? I mean, what is that? Um, I haven't heard of it. <laughs> I'm sure it's something that keeps your tank stable. <laughs> Uh, what's good, people? Hey, Travis. What's up, Darren? Uh, dude, hit up Dollar Tree for the new bottle. Yeah, I know. It's I got I, man. I got so much shit going on. <sighs> you guys only see a very very small portion, like Instagram. I try to post quite a bit of stuff on there, but man, you guys aren't seeing crap compared to what I got going on. Uh, it's uh, and and I like I said, I'm adding this new aspect to the business, which is I'm trying to set it up in a way that it's not going to be overwhelming. Trying to keep it pretty basic. Uh, and again, it's not it's not what you think. It's only two people in the world know know what it is um, And this is gonna dry at some point. So uh, yeah, I, I will we'll see we'll kind of see how uh, how it does and Yeah Anyway, let's see what we got here What's up? I thought that said instead of the the Diablo. I thought that said that dildo my bad dude. What's up, man? Uh, what camera do you use for your photograph coral? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's upstairs. It's a camera. It cost me a shit ton of money. <laughs> I know that's not a good answer, but I don't know. It's like it's a Canon something, 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 something with a very expensive lens. Uh, do, do, do. Is PO4 uh, 0 0.05 and NO3 20 okay for mixed reef? Uh, 0 0.05 is a little low. I'll try to be at uh, 0 0.07 if you can, um, or 0 0.1 if possible. And 20 ppm of NO3 is a little high. Try to you know try to stay around five, uh, of five to ten if you can. Um, 20 is a little 20 is a little much on that. Ideally, I guess for a mixed reef, it's okay being a little bit elevated. Um, are, are you having any nutrient issues, as in algae or anything uh, associated with that? That'd be your kind of my concern with elevated NO3 like that. Uh, business idea: A customer sends their reef aquarium water every week to calculate the usage of elements then the company makes uh some liquid some liquid to dose the amount specific each aquarium that's not possible it's a nice concept but it's not possible it changes too frequently uh it would be it wouldn't be something you'd be able to do you can you can guesstimate but uh it would be uh it'd be too complex too much work and then i'm sure it would be very expensive not only for the weekly testing but the time associated with it plus the dosing it's not something i would recommend good idea though um or you can just buy bottles of water from me i'll send you guys bottles of water from the 300 shit you know be one of those guys let me uh cut this off i actually gotta use a saw for this one This is, uh, what is it? Yellow tip? Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I was going to say you should uh, get a new bottle, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say that. I'll get a new bottle when the shit gets back in stock. Sometimes things in life aren't convenient. Just gotta deal with them. 
And that's what this is. Ah, uh, let's see here. I don't have an MOS anymore. I'm out of the military. I was 19 kilo, reclassed 11 Bravo, Afghanistan. Um, and yeah, I wasn't, I've been reefing for like six years. I've been out of the military for a lot longer than that. Um, but I've been in, I've had aquariums since I was a, a teenager. I thought you were taking the pandemic really seriously, uh, pulling your kids out of school and shit. Yeah, uh, I did. I pulled them out of school and, uh, or did back in January. And then, uh, you know what, 10, 11 months, 12 months of fucking bullshit, man. Yeah, you get kind of sick of it. So there we go. Hey, what's up, Kim? Guess what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need a full-time employee. Uh, yeah. Play to keep up. Yeah, I have uh, Scott, but he's a, he's a fucking bum. Right, Scott? I'm just kidding. Uh, let me go ahead and put these in the, uh, the frag tank real quick. I'll be right back. But yeah, so I'm working on the WYSIWYG. I actually started today, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, I've been trying to get the website updated. Let's see what we got here. I'm not that far behind. What are we at? Yeah, I'm five minutes behind on chat. That's not bad. Uh, mm -hmm. I looked at your website. You are missing some corals for sale because... There, uh, when you're live, looks like you have plenty of variety, uh, or do you only put up some for sale? Um, well, I only put up what I'm able to put up. Um, I need to have enough time to get corals uh, ready to go and put on the website. So unfortunately, that takes time. So sometimes the sales just don't line up with my ability to get everything on there. Uh, just kind of how it is. But one second, I got to cut these. <laughs> What I might do, depending on how this goes, I might put the filter on and then have you guys just look at the 300 while I continue to talk on the live stream. Just depends, because I don't think this is going to take very long. Oh, let's see here. You should. Algae question. I have a, a reddish brown, almost turf like algae, uh, and it won't brush off. I don't know what it is. Is it, It's sort of white and clear at the ends and. Uh, of the algae what the hell is it i don't know man you got to send me a picture that sounds weird um yeah i'm not sure are you selling any macro algae yeah i so i have chato on the website it shouldn't be out of stock um it should be on there check it out unless some unless you guys bought it all already i put a limited amount but it should still be there i haven't uh, i haven't checked the orders that came in for that yet today i will send you i will send uh, feet pics for a bottle of water <laughs> i don't I don't, I don't like feet, dude. I'm an ass man, and it's not dude asses. So, uh, yeah, so that's not going to work out. I'm guessing, I mean, I don't know any chicks named Nathan. <laughs> I was, I was going to go down a rabbit hole with that shit, but you, you ain't set me up, dude. Not set me up. Hi, uh, so I've done just about everything I could find online about raising my pH, uh, but it's consistently battled to raise it to keep it over 8. Uh, my reef tank is a consistent state. Yeah, who gives a shit about your fucking pH, man? Or whoever you are. Judging by the avatar, you're probably a chick, so I do apologize. Uh, or you could be a dude with a girl avatar. Anyway, um, who cares about pH? I don't give a shit. Mine's like 7.8, and I'm lucky if it gets to 7.9. And that's that's at midday. Um, if you take your uh, skimmer, pull in air from outside, uh, run a refugium at night, the pH stays below 8, it stays below 8. Move on to more important things. <laughs> hey, what's up? 
Uh, haha, some, uh, same. I was uh, 11, 11B as well. Yeah, my first job was at a local fish store back home when I was 16. Was deprived of the hobby when I was in. Uh, you started up a membership again yet? Yeah, I started the membership, the Q and A stuff. Um, so that's back on the website if you guys are interested in that. Uh, so we have the support end of uh, video membership, and then we have the Q and A. So it's a daily Q and A if you're interested in that. Oh shit. So a little bit on here. All right, let's see what else we got. <laughs> uh, got a CO2 scrubber, which I hooked into the air intake uh, because my CO2 was below. Da -da -da. Okay. Um, hope this will work as I don't have the ability to open up a window. Yeah, I mean, do what you can. I mean, if your pH stays, as long as you're not sitting at like 7.6 all the time or 7.7, .7, some crap like that, you're going to be fine. I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't overthink it too much, because there's more important things in the hobby than worrying about your pH. We're going to drop these off, and we'll be right back. track of what I already fragged. You'll have that. All right, let's see what we got here. So glad Scott is working with you. Uh, he's an awesome guy, yeah. He gets his ass here, he's working for me. Uh, how about that uh, vaccine? I have the uh, Ronas right now and I still won't get a stupid shot. Haven't, haven't you people seen I Am Legend? <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking that shit either. <laughs> nope. Listen. I've done some, done, some, done some stuff over the last few weeks. Who's that? And I haven't caught it yet. But, you know, who knows? All I know is that I'm not going to keep, uh, keep putting my life on hold for stupid shit. Just the way it is. Let's see what we got here. Uh, when are you dropping fish roids uh, trying to bulk up my fish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta work on that fish food. Unfortunately, I need to have a whole facility before I uh, make fish food for the masses. Unfortunately, it has to be uh, uh, certified and all sorts of crap. Unfortunately, but uh, <laughs> fish roids. Yeah. What would be the best acropora for beginners in acropora? Uh, anything that's like a, a millipora or a, or a stag is probably your best bet. Uh, you want to stay away from smooth skin, skinned acros like torts and stuff like that. Those are probably not a good way to go. Um, the next question. I'm um, cycling my tank with stability, bacteria booster, uh, and nitrates. Nitrate is at 10 ppm, but ammonia is at 25. Uh, test uh, how is this possible uh, with API. Well, you're using API, API, so that's probably a problem in itself. Um, well, you're still getting the ammonia somehow. Are you dosing anything associated with that? Um, are you feeding anything excessive? Do you have a lot of fish in there? I mean, what are you doing? Because uh, there has to be a reason why you have the elevated ammonia. Uh, obviously, the cycling process is, is going forward, and it's going through because it goes ammonia, nitrites, and then nitrates. So, uh, I mean, you're in the process, so you just got to see what's uh, um, contributing to the extra ammonia. I scored eight bags of Reborn. So happy. <laughs> Lucky you. I, I got my stuff sitting out front uh, from BRS, the uh, RAM or what, RPM, or whatever the frick that crap is. I got to work on my calcium reactor hopefully this week, but I don't know. I don't know. A lot of crap going on. Um, yeah, let's see. Do, do, do. Why do you use such a large frag disc and um, not the plug? Not what? And not the plugs? I don't know. Because I don't need a, these discs are for growing out, so they need to be larger for stability. Because these colonies are going to get big. 
so they need to have they need to have a stable bottom and they need to have places to encrust um, most acropora aren't going to encrust outside this disc at least well I've had some but not, most of them won't and um, I like having a bigger disc for that as for uh, plugs the three quarter inch is pretty common the acro plug for the uh, corals do, 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 do. Hello, I'm new to the hobby. Question, I heard it's good to QT all new corals. Also, uh, do I also have to test out cal, mag, phosphates, nitrates? Thanks in advance. Yeah, you should always quarantine your new corals if you can. It's safer to do that. Um, there's a lot of people out there who've gone, who have not quarantined corals and lost a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, you should test uh, your out calcium, mag, and phosphates, and nitrates, yeah. Are you asking if you need to test that on a quarantine tank or in general? Um, and the answer is yes to both. Let me go ahead and pop these in there. I'm trying to see how many I have left, and then I'll probably relocate the camera if I can. I'm trying to figure out what I got going on here, uh, extension cord wise. I don't want my phone to take a shit. So let me uh, right back. see what we got here uh what well, we're at uh 1741 we're at okay so i'm nine minutes behind that's not too bad do, do, do. let's see here son of a bitch damn finger my bad uh ever had calc washer raise calcium higher than elk for example 7.5 uh elk and calcium uh no i mean i didn't use cal uh, calc washer that long motherfucker my finger i gotta dry my hand off Ugh. We're here for. All right. Uh, what do you think about using lights uh, in the lo with lunar modes? That's fine. Yeah, just do the lunar mode. I have I have the lunar module on my 300. I forget that's even there sometimes. It does its own thing through the through the apex. Uh, Miracle juice uh, will solve any and all problems in your reef tank and your life. Uh, just chug it. Uh, where the hell are you getting that from? Uh, my all is my elk. You mean my elk is twelve? Jesus, uh, twelve point uh, three six right now, and my corals don't seem to be doing bad. Should I be worried? You're kind of at a limit there. Uh, you're you don't want to be at any extreme when it comes to a reef tank. Yeah, I mean, if you're at 12.36, I mean, part of 7 to 12 DKH is, you know, getting there, man. Yeah, you're too high of extreme. I would definitely bring that down. I run a Trident. Do 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 it stay stable? Does it stay stable? Yeah, for the most part. I've always been concerned about the pH because people are always uh, adamant that it's uh, crucial for keeping consistent over 8. It's been eight times. Yeah, no. Yeah, who cares, man? Who cares about pH? I, everything I've grown in this whole entire system has been above 8.0, maybe four times in the last freaking two years, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Mm -mm -mm. I've scrolled down. Shit. Uh, what do you recommend when 30% of your tank got? got taken over by Aptasia and killing it is only making it come back quicker. Uh, well, if you have the money, you can buy the new Bronx and hopefully they'll take care of it or just tear the whole damn system down. It's on you. You decide what you want to do with that. 
Um, it's going to take a lot of new to Bronx, and it's going to cost quite a bit of money. So just do the math. How much is it going to cost for you to start over with new rock, opposed to buying all the new to Bronx? That question will be, have to be answered. A little piece of bird's nest. A little bitty. There's some uh, Cali Tort here. Some Appleberry. Or, sorry, Pinky and the Bear. So, yeah, you kind of got to weigh that out. <laughs> this guy, Tim says that this guy skipped my question. Well, it must have been a pretty shitty question then. I don't remember seeing your name. Maybe you should ask it again and see if I answer it. Uh, why would my nitrates start to go back up after cycling? Uh, was uh, to do was fully complete and nitrates or sorry nitrates were at zero only three fish were added about two weeks apart also water turning cloudy and and had brown diatom everywhere uh, well you uh, you introduced the fish and you you know the bio load changed so you're you have to kind of the bio load has to adjust the bacteria amount has to adjust and they might have been only three fish but it was enough to uh, cause it to recycle. And that that uh, brown is just a diatom bloom from a not, not having a properly cycled tank. Um, so yeah, just go slow. Watch how much you're feeding and let that uh, beneficial bacteria build up. Uh, do, 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 do. What is what is your? Uh, oh, you're talking to the other dude. Okay, cool. Uh, new to the hobby. What do you? What do your move, move, move hair algae? You new to fucking English too, man? Jesus. Um, okay, I'm new to the hobby. <laughs> what do you use, I don't know, to remove hair algae? Keep your nutrients under control? Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully didn't get too offended by that, buddy. You know, I'm just playing around. Um, if you're new to the hobby, you're probably new to my channel, so don't take that personal. And if you do, well, yeah. anyways, uh, the problem keeping extreme high elk is anything that comes in the mid range will be uh, fried. Well, yeah, having high alkalinity, the problem with that not only is that your compatibility with corals that you just get in, you, if you have 12 DKH and you buy a coral from me, you're going to be fucked. It's that simple. Um, it's just not going to work out. You're going to, the acclimation process, regardless of how long you tank, you, you got to think if it's in the bag all night. And then you're dropping from 12 to 8 DKH, yeah, you're gonna have a problem with that, especially in such a short period of time. Um, so yeah, and plus you're at an extreme. So when you have issues, you wanna be in the middle. So if you have a spike or you accidentally overdose, if you're in the middle of that DKH range, you'll be able to have a little leeway. But if you're already at uh, 12 DKH and you have a problem and you overdose, you're just going even higher, causing fur issues and potential losses. So. Um, I think this is going to be it when it comes to coral frags because I don't know exactly everything that I cut so far. So I'm probably going to put the filter on and attempt to let you guys see the 300. Um, yeah, let me, let me just put this shit away. We'll try that. Upstairs, so we're gonna have to do that at some point. Let me uh, let me move y'all over here. Turn the light off, so you guys can see, and then let me grab the filter. Uh, give me. Give me 30 seconds to run upstairs and turn off the um, this light right here, and we should be good to go. Right back.
So I don't really use this filter, so we'll see how it turns out. I usually use my other camera. So we're about to find out, so bear with me. If it doesn't look good, well, tough shit. Meh, that looks like crap. Oh well, I wonder if I can do any kind of color modification. Where the fuck goes? Mm, nope, that looks weird. Meh. Yeah, not liking that. That doesn't look very good, does it? Mm -mm. That's super white. I have no idea how to fix that. Hmm. Shit. Okay, you guys don't have to deal with it. Would you rather the filter be on, or would you rather uh, have it off? It's going to be blue. Take it off? Okay. Yeah, I don't like this one. I to, my other camera is much better at the filter. Oh, give me a second. Oop, shit, I'm jacking everything up. Try not to hit any buttons because I don't want to kill the stream. Okay. Yeah, it's super ugly, but... And I zoomed in somehow. Don't even ask me how I did that. Okay, you guys can look at that. All right, let me get my uh, thing here. Alright, so I got my little questionnaire freaking tablet thing, so we can bullshit for a little bit. So, let me scroll up and see what questions we got. Uh, I'll probably do this for a few more minutes, because I don't have really nothing to do. i got to make some dinner. So, let's see. Let me scroll up. There's a guy bitch about me missing his question. <laughs> yeah, Trav is naturally a douche. I'm not a douche. I'm just uh, overly honest, I suppose. All right, uh, do, 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 do. scroll back up. All right, my candy cane, for some reason, bleached out with an alk of 9.3 and phosphates at 0 0.05 and calcium at 420, um, even after I moved it to lower par air. Any advice? Uh, well, your phosphates are a little low. Uh, they could be contributing to that. I don't know what your, maybe, what was your par intensity? <clears throat> that could be an issue. Um, you might have too much light. I know that you said you brought it down, so maybe it initially got too much light and you expelled the zooxanthellae. And, uh, yeah, that was a problem. Possibly. Man, the video looks like crap. You guys see Big Bertha over here? Big Bertha. Yeah, you big shit. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what else we got here. Do do totally blue falcon. <laughs> yeah, my other my other camera I use for recording is much better. I can adjust it. Can't do it on this one. Uh, what glue what glue are you using for your plugs and how long is how long out of the water when fragging? So I answer this question quite often. I usually do ten to fifteen minutes max when it comes to keeping corals out. And then um Yeah, I mean it's it's the BRS uh, thick super gel, super glue, gel super glue. Um you want to use gel because it's going to be easier than just the regular liquid. So that's about it. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Which one looks better, canopy or nothing uh, on the top, in your opinion? I like canopy because it keeps the light in. Personal preference on that. It also keeps the heat in, so that's kind of your call on that. But I prefer a canopy. Hmm. I have a really bad vermitted snail problem in my tank. Doing a complete overhaul, but I want to keep my rock live what is the best way to deal with them with keeping the rock live uh throw your rock out and get more live rock and start over or make more live rock yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get rid of the vermented problem and keep your current rock it's not gonna happen it's just not it's just not gonna happen so you can forget that idea just toss the shit in the garbage get some more and re, re, re uh, cure it uh i did have two tanks on one sump so it's a little bit weird when I, I uh, unplug one return pump. There's Andrea bitching about the filter. 
Uh, bumblebee snails eat fermented snails. Or uh, bumblebee snails eat fermented. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do. If they're not, you don't have that many. But if you have too many, it's not even worth the worth the money. Yo, what's up, guys? <clears throat> to do, what is your preferred fish for pest eating in your imported system? Um, six line wrasse or a melanorus wrasse is usually my choice for anything imported. Um, and then I keep a utility fish like a, a tang or some sort in there. Works out pretty good. Do, do, do. Bertha is for sure on roids. <laughs> Bertha is insane. Uh, you guys will see when I do that update video with the actual filter. She's a. She's. I was gonna say she's an animal, but that's pretty obvious. She's a big girl. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Hopefully, I can get another couple years out of her in this tank. Um, rest in peace to all the colonies. That's all I gotta say to that. That's cool though. Whenever she breaks something, it's just free fragging, and I just you know cut it up and sell it. That's about it. Um, it just sucks that this tank has never, ever been able to just completely grow, um, just because I've been fragging it so early on, and, uh, you know, that's just part of the business, I suppose. It just kind of, it sucks, because it'd be nice to have a tank that I didn't, didn't frag, and actually could see the potential growth and really what it turned into, but, uh, that's just not realistic, and I've accepted it. Uh, how about killing the rock and making it live again, or is that what you meant? Just just throw the rock in the trash can. That's what I meant. It means take it out of your tank, walk your happy ass outside, and throw it in the fucking trash can, and get more rock. Uh, you need any more clarification on that? Get rid of the rock. Do 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 do. Uh, I have uh, electricity in my tank, but only i could feel it uh what should i do um i don't know, wear shoes and you won't feel it anymore <laughs> no just unplug everything one by one i think somebody said that and figure out where the problem is get a voltmeter you can see where the voltage is coming from and just unplug stuff i had some issues with a uh, power head um yeah uh, issue with the power head uh, not a power head a heater uh one of the phoenix heaters back on the old imported system kept nailing me and i was like what the hell so uh yeah process of elimination The fermented snails will be the fermented. Do, 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 let me. I missed one. Sorry. Uh, why do you get? Why don't you get a cleaner ass? Well, I don't want one. <laughs> I don't. Know, I like my. I like my six line that I have in the imported system, and I like my melanoris that I have. Um. Yeah. Uh, the fermented snails will be in your overflows, so uh, throwing the rock out won't stop them from being the overflow. Well, if you clean the tank and sterilize the tank, you'll be fine. That means clean the overflows. Uh, necessary, nece you can actually uh, uh, redo the plumbing might be a good idea as well. Um, it's really, it's just kind of one of those things you got to redo pretty much everything. So, yep. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, cool. I'm all caught up. So, if you guys got any more questions, feel free to drop those in there. How long have we been? How long have we been rolling for? Uh, Forty minutes. That's not too bad. Um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, this week. I, I, you guys will see the live stream tomorrow night. I, did I post a video today or was that yesterday? I posted one yesterday. I did the fish room. So um, that turned out pretty good. You guys seem to be all right with that. Um, I plan on tomorrow doing the refugium here for the 300. So hopefully that video should be up before I do the live stream tomorrow night. Uh, if not, I'll try to have it up Friday. I am getting some work done on the arm on, uh, on Friday. So uh, we're trying to finish it out. We're trying to finish the full sleeve and... Uh, Basically, the, my buddy, uh, with the COVID stuff, he hasn't been able to um, get a lot of work. And um, so he's, uh, he was saying that he's trying to get some gifts for his kids this year. So I figured, hey, uh, come over and do some work and finish up the arm. And uh, we'll make sure your kids have uh, plenty of presents this year. So that's kind of what the plan is. We're going to do a couple more sessions before Christmas. Should be good. Uh, let's see another question here. Uh, hey, uh, do, 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 yeah, they are all over the place in my filtration. I'm... Totally breaking down the tank, but my rock biology is so good, I hate to dry it out. Yeah, just get rid of the rock and then uh, clean the overflows and maybe even consider redoing the plumbing. Um, yeah, just got to do it. Do, do, do you feel that wrasses eat all microfauna from MD? Uh, not really. Who the hell's blowing my shit up? Amazon. Amazon. Mm, 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 mm. 
if the fermented snails can't live outside of the water, why not uh, live? Uh, why not live the rock? If that makes sense, rocks and equipment outside of the tank and give them a good wash and put them back in the tank. Uh, well, the qu the reason why I say get rid of the rock and clean the equipment well is because do you really want to take the chance of dealing with this issue and then letting the rock dry out and then one of those little jokers surviving somehow? Uh, life will find a way, just like in Jurassic Park, right? Um, and then having the problem all over again. I think of it that way. I'm a little bit behind on the stream, but you can get an 8-ounce bottle of Bossman Super Glue Accelerator for 12 on Amazon. Yeah, I, I might just wait for it to be wholesale. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot cheaper than that. I'm not saying I'm cheap ass. I'm saying I don't need it. I got that. That, uh, that bottle seems to be working fine now. Mm -mm -mm. Don't even bother trying to kill those stupid snails. Bumblebees or rasses did nothing. Yep, they don't really work that well. Uh, those types of snails can live weeks outside the water. Yeah, because they have water inside the shell. Um, yeah, so again, your best bet is to toss the rock out, remove the plumbing, clean as much as you can, sterilize the tank, um, and let it be dry for a while, and then start over. That's your best bet. Uh, do, 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 do. do you quarantine sna uh, snails, crabs, and if so, do you use any medications? Well, you can't use medications on snails and crabs because it will kill them. Um, and any other fish medicine that's not copper-based would be useless for snails and crabs. But yes, I do quarantine them. I kind of I quarantine them uh, in my same tank that I would quarantine coral uh, because, again, there isn't any medications or anything in there in the first place. Um, and I just quarantine them just to make sure there's no uh, fermented snails coming in on them, on them or any kind of aptasia or any kind of other issues. Of course, I like to clean the shells as much as possible before putting them in the tank. But, uh, yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Any suggestions on a tang for a 75-gallon SPS dominant tank? Uh, Scopus tang, pretty good deal. They, they don't get too big too quickly. Uh, if you, I mean, if you want to get a small... Mm, like the flame fin tang that I have in here is pretty small tang. It's good stuff. Uh, do not get a flamingo tang. <laughs> do not get a hippo. Don't get a sail fin. Uh, try to stay away from powder blue, even though they don't get too, too big. Um, yeah. I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Man, Bertha is thick, man. She's like two, in two and a half inches thick at her belly. God, you got to stop eating so much. I feel bad for her being in this tank, but I can't really do anything about that right now. Uh, Bacon soda is often RODI water, DIY super glue accelerator. Yeah, made it. It doesn't work that great. Um, thank you for great help. Yep. Then leave it out for a month or two. In a direct sun, save hundreds of dollars. Yeah, or just throw it in the fucking garbage and buy new rock. Why are we still talking about this? Throw the rock in the garbage, stop being a cheap ass, and buy new rock. That's it. End of discussion, man. We keep talking about the same shit. Uh, to do, to do, to do. Suggestions to get better color from corals a relation to light. Uh, two XR15s, 100% blue, UV, violet, royal, three blue plus bulbs, 120 gallon tank, four foot tank. Frag tank has two primes, eight sixteens, and color is more of. Uh, uh, fluorescent um well make sure that you have the right par where you're at i know you went through your whole lighting and gave me all these random ass colors that <clears throat> mean nothing for the question but uh yeah just make sure your par isn't too crazy and you have corals in the appropriate spot you should be all right with that um i mean it seems like you got plenty of light for the tank hmm two xr15s for a hundred uh four foot tank yeah I mean, if you're running running soft corals and LPS, you should be good with that, even with the T5s. But um, if you're going to, in a four-foot tank, ideally you'd run four XR15s, or at least I would if it was SPS dominant. So, yeah, just make sure you have enough par. Uh, go in there and see where you're at. You're probably going to be pretty low for SPS, but it's worth uh, checking out. Uh, when you added your SPS early, how did that turn out? Uh, I'm a cocky bastard, too. Uh, speak for yourself, dude. I ain't cocky. I just know what the hell I'm doing. Uh... Uh, bastard two with a two month old tank. Think about adding stags. If your water, if your tank is uh, stable and it's cycled, and you feel like you can grow SPS, then put it in there. But uh, yeah, my SPS turned out fine. I didn't have any issues with it. No deaths, no nothing. Let's see, what we got here. Do, 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 do. A are fermented, are fermented common um, on live rock from Florida. Uh, what is the Trident uh, Trident needle guide for? What problem? Does it solve? Okay, so um, fermented snails can come in from live rock from anywhere. That's why I don't use live rock. It's one of the reasons why I don't. Um, as for the guide, it allows to keep the needle 
straight up and down so it's not at an angle so you're able to get uh, the most out of the container itself uh, it worked out pretty good they're actually pretty popular uh, next question to do 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 look up a new spectrum X shield power powder and check reef central I don't know what the hell that is talking to Tim uh, we'll never again blast feed Fido feast or anything like that that's when the remitted went crazy but they were gonna go crazy anyways man it's just a matter of time um, it's just one of those things you just can't introduce to your tank it sucks that's why we want to quarantine our coral or at least when you get corals in cut the base off or cut the plug off before you put in your tank and you should be good with that uh do 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 you recommend acro power amino acids to help heal coral uh and better coloration uh, i do use acro power uh amino acids i mean i am using aqua vitro fuel for uh my minor and micro elements uh, aminos i did use bright walls for a little bit i haven't used them in a while i had a dino outbreak and i just kind of forgot that i had them in the fridge but uh they seem fine um Really, when it comes down to coloration and growth for coral, specifically SPS, you want to make sure you have a good power range. Um, obviously, your light's going to be, you know, I would say decent. And then make sure that your nutrients are in check. Nutrients are a pretty big deal. Really make everything uh, either make it or break it. Uh, do, do, do. do you think two ocean revives are enough light for a 75 gallon with beginner SPS or add T5s? Uh, you should be okay. Um, you might want to consider adding the T5s just to help with some of the shading. Oh, look here. Scott's here. Huh, who, the, who the fuck knew? Late, better late than ever, I suppose, Scott. Um, <clears throat> will a RAS... Will a RAS pest or just... What the fuck? Will a RAS pest or just pods? I don't even know what that... What is that? What does that even mean? Will a RAS pest or just pods? You have to, you're going to have to fix that come back to me uh it can also come in on coral bases uh that's another reason to cut them off yeah i suppose uh will you ever send dry goods to the uk probably not uh hey uh wait uh well i will when i have uh employees that show up for work and um and freaking i can put the time aside to actually send stuff overseas and uh yeah so at some point uh wait can we uh cover dealing with vermented again no let's not talk about vermented snails anymore uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, just a reminder i was eating dinner i don't give a shit if you're eating dinner you're always fucking eating here we go scott always fucking eating sitting on your ass i don't care if i say i'm going live you stop what you're doing and you fucking go live i'll call your ass after i'm off here boy uh it's great to see another 11 bravo in the hobby hope all is well brother uh life is good for the most part again it's 2020 Lost a shit ton of weight so far. I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> what tanks would you avoid in a tank size, even in a larger tank? What tanks would you avoid in any tank size, even a large tank? Okay. <clears throat> I try to avoid... So I would not personally... This is personally. I'm not part of the tank police or anything. I would not personally put any tangs in a tank under 55 gallons. If you're going to put a tang in a 55 gallon, you can. It's just going to be something that you will have to fix. Uh, because I did have a client that wanted a Vlamingi tang. He insisted on having a Vlamingi tang. Put it in a 75 gallon, and then it died. Uh, it, it literally was the same age as Big Bertha, but in that tank, okay, it was half her size. The same age, same feeding frequency. But with that tank, it was half the size and it died. Don't know exactly how it died. It just died. So um, I don't know if they have the same, like, uh, you know, if you guys heard the Oscars, um, this is this could be a myth. I mean, I don't know. But um, if you have them in a small tank, their bodies won't grow, but their internals will continue to grow to the point where they die. I don't know if that's the same with these types of fish, but um, it was the same age, same time I got Big Bertha, but half the size. And uh, that, and she was just, only difference was was she was in or that fish was in a smaller tank. So I would try to avoid uh, tangs in a 55 gallon. I try to avoid them in a 75 gallon. If you are going to get tangs for those tanks, get something that's that's small, and also get something that's not capable of being too large that grows quickly. Like again, a vomingi would not be something that I would recommend. Um, and then moving up, of course, when you're going into larger tanks like 125s and stuff, you just really got a base the fish off how big it's going to get um right now technically bertha is too small for the 300 she 
she can't turn around appropriately, um, which is why she keeps breaking off the colonies and nothing ever grows in this tank. But um, she's not very comfortable in this tank. And she's, you know, she's over here in this corner. Um, and the thing is, is that I can't get her out without tearing the whole system down. So hopefully um, we can minimize the stress. Maybe I will pull out additional colonies just to kind of give more room to swim. Or maybe I'll pull out some rock. I don't know yet. Um, again, this tank is strictly for growing colonies and, and producing frags to the website. There's really no, no other reason for it. Um, but uh, yeah, so... Obviously, the bigger you go, the bigger the tank you go, the more tangs and variety you can have. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that your filtration, your bio, filter, your bio load and everything is efficient for the amount of fish you want to add. And, um, yeah, that's about all I can give you advice on that. Do, 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 do. Instructions not clear. Do I toss out my vermintus snails infested rock? Alan, <laughs> I'm going to kick you in the nuts through the live stream. Yeah, throw your damn rock out, man. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, will a ras eat just pest or just eat the pods? They'll eat everything. They will eat everything. Thanks for answering uh, and everything you do for the hobby. Starting, started a new tank, doing everything I've learned from you and had no ugly phase so far six months in. Yeah, yeah, that video, got I got a lot of shit on that video. The You don't need to have the ugly phase. I got a ton of crap on that video. There she is, Big Bertha. Big Bertha right there, right there. Love that fish. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Scott, afraid of getting... <laughs> I wouldn't fire Scott. Unless he was leaning on my tank and broke it. And then I wouldn't fire him. I'd just make him pay for it. And hand jobs, I suppose. That's about all I'm getting from him. Anyways, uh, I hope... I, I got a hippo tank for my 20 Nouvel. Well, that's dumb. It's a baby, but I will move it to my 200 gallon next year, I guess, DC. You've been around long enough. I mean, you're not that dumb. Then again, maybe I'm giving you too much credit. You're good, though. Uh, throw the rock out easy peasy. <laughs> I'm growing a, growing out a home wrecker from a single polyp. It's got six now and was wondering if I could trade you uh, for some backstrap. Um, I guess if you want to. I mean, I don't really... I mean, the coral's fine. Um, I mean, if you want, you can. If you're locally. I'm not, I can't ship that shit to you. It's not legal. Uh, do you have any plans for a bigger display than 300? Yes. Uh, in the future, um, next year or two, we'll be doing the 1,000. Uh, just things didn't work out uh, with, with all the COVID stuff, with the cost of wood and building the building supplies right now because of the demand. Uh, building a house is just not a smart move. It's, it's just financially, uh, I could afford it, but it's not a good move. Uh, I'm going to be paying extra for having something a, a year earlier that if I just wait a year or two, I'll get it you know, uh, at least half the price of what I'd be paying right now. So it's just a smart financial move uh, to wait. Plus, you know, I'd rather buy sports cars and, and do, do stupid shit like that uh, for now. So we'll see. Um, do you have any plan? Do you already read that? Uh, I think you meant to say Mother Ducker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. To be clear, Rasses will eat everything except for minted snails. <laughs> Ryan, you are correct about that buddy they will not eat vermented snails but uh, yeah so if you're in the uh, live stream hit the thumbs up appreciate it and, you know that instant gratification is all i need from you jokers mm -mm -mm -mm. i think you're supposed to keep the rock and throw out the tank <laughs> uh, uh big birth seems to be chilled and and then when you leave to turn into the uh to ducker she destroys everything yeah she's pretty chill um, she's what's really cool about her. She's not aggressive at all. She doesn't beat anybody up. She just runs around or runs around. She swims around with a giant ass fin out, fin out, but she doesn't thank God. She's not aggressive. We got big blue over here. Scott's personality over in the corner over here, just being a dick to everybody. And then the cell thing comes in. They're always going at it. Um, and I didn't feed the tank yet today. So they're pissed off. That's how I know. I forget to feed the tank is when big blue goes around just beating everybody up. Um, and then again, nobody messes with Bertha, and she doesn't, she doesn't bother anybody, which is really nice. Any experience with a Photon V2? No, none. John, hey Travis, hope you and the family are good. And uh, if I don't see you before the holidays, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hey John, thanks. Every, everybody is good. Thanks for asking. Uh, you're definitely right about the construction cost here in Nashville. It's outrageously high right now. Yeah, it's stupid high. 
uh, as I mentioned uh, the other day when I, in the lot or in the update yesterday, that you know even just two by fours are like double the price. Uh, hey, uh, the salty reef. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, it's just not smart. It's not a smart move. It's just not. I mean, I do a lot of dumb shit, but I'm not going to waste that kind of money. If we're going to build a half a million dollar house, it's going to be a half a million dollar house. It's not going to be a, uh, you know, I'm not going to pay three quarters of a million and then get a half a million dollar house. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not going to do that. Nope. 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 Again, um, rather buy, rather get some toys instead. Mm, you're definitely right about the construction cost. Yeah, you have to do that. Uh, instructions unclear. Dick stuck in phosphate <laughs> reactor. Yeah, you. Well, you better get that figured out, man. You shouldn't do that. I know Adam and Eve's got a sale on on like a bunch of of uh, dick toys and stuff. You might want to consider getting one of those instead of putting your wiener in phosphate reactors. Just a uh, food for thought on that. Um, I know it's lonely time of the year. Uh, tank uh, has filled in quite nice after all the cutting. Uh, how is the inventory and sales going? Well, the inventory is good. Uh, inventory is really good. I probably, I don't know, I probably have maybe 2,000 frags down here. The problem is uh, finding enough time in the day to take pictures of those frags and put that stuff up on the website. That is the problem. It's not the inventory. It's the time. And uh, sometimes I second guess myself if it's a good idea to add another aspect to the business um, because it seems like I'm always adding things and I'm not getting any more time during the day. So... I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Oh, look, Scott's uh, profile pic is a powder blue. Interesting. Yeah, that, that used to be Scott's fish. Right there. A little joker right there. That used to be Scott's fish. Um, yeah. Hey, how would you raise phosphates in a reef tank? I would dose them. Fishofhex.com. Phosphates. <laughs> dose them. Or feed more. Whatever you want to do. I don't care. Are the imported imports already up? When will they be available? Sorry if you covered it already. Yeah, I do have, if you go to the ZOA section underneath the website, that's what I have so far for imported stuff. There are a few other things in there, but again, previous comment, I uh, gotta get time to put that shit up there. I'm telling you, I'm very ambitious. I have a lot of things that I wanna do and, I'm, and I'm, I'm very active in my business. But the thing is I get up in the morning at like 7.30, I go to the gym uh, for like maybe an hour, hour and a half, come back and I literally work all day and I'll be up to maybe midnight, one o'clock tonight and or one o'clock in the morning and then I just start that shit over the next day and I'm working that entire time. Um, I literally have no life. <laughs> and I mean that, no life. It's all work. And even with all that work, I still can't get everything done. So, gotta get up at 5 a.m., homie. Fuck that, dude. Those days are over. I am not getting up at 5, 5 a.m. unless it's, uh... We're not gonna go there. Uh... Yeah, no. 5 a.m.? Yeah. Nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Shit sucks. I'll be ordering frags from you soon in the new year. Sweet, man, Ryan. Appreciate it. <clears throat> I have two primes and one uh, 26 Hydra HD. Would these three be enough for a low boy tank? Yeah, you should be fine with that. Um, yeah, you should be fine. You should be good. Do do. Scott back into reefing again these days. I'm trying. I told him I was going to send him for Christmas. I was going to send him a bunch of rock, and he he can uh, or I can cure it, and then give him the rock, and he can set up his tank again. And he can come here and pick out any frag that he wants for free. He could take any coral home that he wants to fill up his tank. But uh, Scott, be Scott. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Majanos, do you have to throw away the rock too? Or is it a better way to kill them? Uh, I tried Majana wand, uh, but didn't seem to work as well. Um, I don't think Nudibronx eat those. I don't know. I never had them. I've I've seen them at, at other tanks, but I never uh, never never looked into how to get rid of them because I never had to deal with them. Um, just throw the damn rock out. That's always work. We can always just go right back to the default. Just throw the <laughs> throw the damn rock out. Uh, do do do. You do. You need to add a person to the list from the uh, from the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when you figure out how to add time to the day, let me know. Yeah, I wish. Uh, took ages for the dick jokes to kick in. Yeah, I'm kind of Kim. I'm kind of slow today. Um, like I said, I've been running on fumes for the last day and a half. Um, yeah, I'm just stuck, man. Dick jokes aren't coming. Do 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 do. Maybe get a local young photographer to take over pics. 
you will make your life way easier. Yeah. I suppose. Um, but then I gotta edit them a certain way still. I guess it just depends. Um, I don't know. I'm one of those people, like, I have a certain way I want things to be done. And it has to be done that way or we're gonna have problems. <laughs> we're gonna have problems. Ask God. Be like, yo, it's gotta be done this way. If you don't do that way, that is gonna be mean. And you ain't gonna like it. Um, but I, I like it to be done correctly. And I don't like micromanaging people. And I don't like telling people over and over again to do shit, so... Uh, yeah, I don't need any young women here. Fuck that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start moving into the forty year olds, man. Those fuckers can do that instead. Maybe a local. Yeah, we're doing that. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, you're on a roll tonight. Yes, <laughs> Scott, I'm trying, man. I'm being I'm trying to get you going, but you're not saying anything back. I told myself when I got out of the army, I would never again wake up at four thirty a.m. A.M. Then I had kids. Yeah, you're telling me. Uh, Five o'clock in the morning. Yo, what's up? Yeah, it's time for you to go back to sleep for another two hours. That's what's up. Um, I tossed out my Aptasia rock. Yeah, we're in rock and call on that. I just wake up at 5 a.m. unless I'm smoking a lot of pot. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. But, uh, all right, guys, what are we at? We're like an hour? Yeah, we're good, man. I think we're good. We got through the questions. We caught up. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to try to get that video out for the Refugium. If not, then I'll have the live stream at least tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And again, we're going to be moving the live streams to Thursdays. Uh, have you ever tried deer nuggets, like deer testicles, if that's what you mean? I mean, I've cut them off. I've never eaten them. But, um, but uh, yeah, so live stream will be tomorrow. At least that's the content we get out. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video for the um, fish room update, head over there and check it out. Um, and sorry the tank is so blue. I just know that you guys didn't want to look at me fragging that stupid stuff all night. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the live stream. Uh, hit the thumbs up before you leave. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right. Peace.